Hello everyone. Today we're going to start up this Windows XP virtual machine. So yeah, it's a virtual machine and it runs Windows XP obviously. So it says Microsoft there, it says Microsoft Windows XP, okay, yada yada yada. And... I don't know how many seconds that was, but I'm pretty sure that was pretty darn quick for Windows XP standards. But anyway, here we are, and um, here's my little desktop background and stuff. Just for people who want to check on the stats and stuff, here it is. We are running this on a quad-core uh, Dell, Dell Latitude E6410, and it has uh, an NVIDIA chip. I don't know which one, but it has an NVIDIA chip, so that's good, I think. And um, the uh, the host OS is running uh, Mint. So, okay. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so here's... Apparently, I managed to get the Toho games to work perfectly on here. Like, even though it's a virtual machine, it actually runs them at... Some, somewhere, somewhere around 60 FPS. Mostly 60, but fluctuates a lot. But anyway, here we are. Here's Imperishable Night. We're gonna... Go ahead and start a new game. Now then, there is something I have I have noticed about this. So we're all running this in a virtual machine, right? Okay, let's continue. Hopefully, Audacity will slow down the video like it always does. Like. Uh, like it's been doing big, for whatever reason like sometimes audacity tends to slow down the audio that's what i'm using to record and stuff so i don't know but anyway yeah encourageable night it's a pretty cool game ah well then we're gonna die There's Wriggle. Now, we're going to pause here. Why? Because it's Wriggle. No, not really. Anyway, we're going to pause here. And then we're going to do a little something special. Since this is a virtual machine, we're going to go over here. And we're going to hit Take Snapshot. We're going to name this one Wriggle. And we're going to type in a little description. Give it a few seconds. And there we go. We're going to return to game. And we're playing. So there's one. Thing. She's working. Now then, we're gonna try to suck horribly at this and lose our lives. All right. Now a lot of you have already seen what's coming. We're already gonna see what's gonna come up next. Basically, we have died. Good. Let's kill the virtual machine, power it off, and restore current snapshot wriggle. Okay. And boom. It's gone. Double click. And... We're back. Yes, indeed. I have just discovered save states for... Basically, this computer emulator. Now, it's technically not an emulator. It's more like a virtualization software thing. But, to most people, it's an emulator. So, we're just going to call it that. There's a there's differences, though. But anyway, yeah. We are running this, and it's generally okay. There's, there's, a, there's a few hiccups here and there, but I mean... Like, with the FPS, but I mean... So far, it's just running perfectly good. And to my knowledge, this... To my knowledge, it works with just about every Toho game. I've tried it out with a few things, and I'll probably show it to you in a few seconds. But anyway, yeah, right now we're actually messing around with time streams because we didn't get this far last time. And stuff. So we're going to close out of this. Let's try Double Dealing Character. We're going to run out of that. Alright. Now loading.
Okay, and we're gonna go to game start. Normal mode, and we're gonna go with Marisa this time. Alright, so here we are. We are defeating enemies. That was something about the song. It actually reminds me of someone I know very well. Pretty sure a lot of you know who she is. But anyway, let's continue. So yeah, we got double demon character and stuff. We're gonna wait for Cherno to pop up. She's gonna pop up real soon. There she is. We're gonna wait for here. Well, you know, let's, let's just continue. You know, like, like, let's continue on until, like, we get the Wakasagi. Yeah, that's right. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names, but... Eh. I guess you could, like, build a garage or something. I don't know. Anyway. Yep. Just give it a few seconds. I notice we're still at a 60 FPS, even though this is a virtual machine. There she is, Waka. And then we're gonna hit the escape button. Machine. Take snapshot. We're gonna name this one Waka. Okay, click OK. Give it a few seconds. Now, if you notice, uh, that the way it looks different than the rest of it is because that's being rendered using the graphics card uh, directly and not just through the operating system. So, yeah, now that we've saved the state, we are now playing the game. And we're going to suck forward. I gotta love sucking horribly at Toho. So, okay. V-Box. We're gonna save that, we're gonna return to title, and then we're gonna rage quit, and then we're gonna go do some other things, like view the Winver again, and stuff, and probably run the command prompt, and blah blah blah. Or, well, not normally, anyway. So, we're gonna go to machine. Oh, no, no, we're not gonna go to the machine, we're gonna go click close. We're gonna click restore. Then we're gonna double click it again. Hopefully I double-clicked it right. There we go. And then... Boom, we're back. As if nothing ever happened. So yeah, pretty much emulator-esque stage the safe states. And right now we're not sucking as badly as we did before. Now, I mean, of course, obviously this is cheating. But it's a nice concept to know. Because, I mean, like, it just pretty much proves that any, j just about anything can be emulated like this. So yeah, pretty much we're, just, we're now treating ourselves as just like your standard emulator of a PC. But anyway. Yep. That is pretty good. And, like, yeah, I mean, like, there's Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, and we're gonna go try to find another game on here just to just to show you it does work with other ones too now let me see here desktop asdf should be yeah here it is uh, run custom e node good here it is start now loading So yeah, here we are in Subterranean Animus in another Toho game, uh, as a lot of you already know. 
there could be a few hiccups here because I have not actually tested this game specifically, so y'all are gonna get get the specific treat of seeing whether or not this works or not. I've been really needing to do more computer videos like this, so it's a good thing that I'm coming around to it now. And mixing the two things. Well, what do you all think? Like, tell me in the comments section what do you all think of this? I think I'm gonna be doing more videos like this soon or later. And hey, I could probably be doing much of a let's play of this, probably as well. So that could also be a good one. There's Kasume. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get escape. Well, that's probably not a very good place to play to escape those things. There we go. We're gonna hit machine. Take snapshot. We're gonna name this one Kisume. Okay. Return to game. Well, wait for that one. Return to game. There we go. Horribly. Yes, try to suck horrible. Hey, I got a Kappa Shield! That's not sucking horribly. And then I'm gonna hit another bullet. And I can hit another one. Wow, look at those. The little DNA bomb molecules. There's Marisa. Oh, we actually made it to Yamame. Killed. So yeah, we died. Close. Restore. And this again. And it's kind of messed up there, but here we go again. Now, pretty much what we're glimpsing at is pretty much the future, in which uh, we're well maybe the future. In which way we're basically like simply emulating the Toho games from this decade or and the decade before in well in a sense of a PC emulator, kinda like how the PC ninety eight games are being emulated. But it really depends. I mean a lot of people are gonna use wine for this as well in Linux. Unless if something else takes over, but in which case they're probably port wine to that as well. And oh we didn't suck as badly as last time. I, I do predict that people are going to use Linux more because of how Windows 8 was an epic fail. I mean, it might be fast and everything, but the interface and blah, nope. It's just not going to work. But anyway, yeah, there you go. We're now actually cheating the system. Now, if you notice, we're not even using Cheat Engine. We're just using a simple virtual machine. So that's interesting, too. Yeah, you can use Cheat Engine with Tobo, but I haven't tried it with another friend of mine. Uh, yep. And yeah, no, we're gonna click close out of that. I don't have too many other games. I might try uh, Hiso Tensoku with this sooner or later, or, well, um, Hopeless Masquerade. But anyway, yeah. What do you all think of ha being able to actually do this and everything? Of being able to, like, use save states with Toho? I mean, obviously you're cheating the system, but other than that, you're basically doing something that ne that nobody else would even thought would even be possible. So, yeah, tell me what you all think about this and stuff. And I like this little screensaver. Reminds me of the good old days, but anyway. Yep. Just tell me what you think, and I'll be responding. Stupid Google Plus, though, keeps messing up the comments, so if, like, your comment is 15 hours old, I'll try to do, like, a weird plus something. But anyway, that pretty much ends off this video. See you later.